rapid, mate. We just I'm not here to do a tidy job, I'm here to do a quick job. Holes in there, Thomas! Yeah boy! This could be abysmal. Good morning everyone. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, you get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes we do a Sunday video. Anna is currently pushing up. Yeah, it's currently pushing up some grass. It's stopped raining for about two seconds. Have we got any more lambs? No. Um, I did have something very, very cool though. I just had a load of preschoolers turn up, three, four years old. I can just put this photo on because it's the back of the head, so you can't show them the front of the faces, which is understandable. They just came to the yard, so they've got some animals to look at. Actually, so they drove around there, throw there. Then crows are hung up to scare other crows away. I know it's not nice. And uh, they just look at the sheep, they had a look at the cows, and they absolutely loved it. And that's something I really, really want to do more. I think it was great. Loved it. Fan dabby dozy. But what are we doing today? It's time. It's the final countdown. That's where I was going with that. I know. So we are getting to the end of our silage we have two days left sometimes the corners it goes a bit black i'll just show you come on tom show people what we're talking about cleaned out the corner today and that's probably the best i'm going to get so that's just the back of it you can just see the back it goes a bit black like this will be good that's just because i haven't got to it early enough uh, but it'll be good under there it'll be fine uh, it's a little bit acidic maybe again because the water so what i'm going to do is that i'll give to over the road to the young stock it's a little bit dodgy you want the creme de la creme the best of the best to the milk cows i'm actually gonna um kind of go against everything i'm saying there but that's what we're gonna do there i want to mix in to the next cut so this isn't first it's not second it's third preferably you want to feed first cut to all your heifers but the way it is on this farm it's easier to put third here we like to put first cut here we put 100 acres here then we put 60 acres of first cut over the road then we put 120 acres of first second cut over the road so that makes it to 180 and then i think we did about 100 acres all together but it was a bit of a rubbish third cut so i've not got much hope for this i definitely do not have much hope for this at all i think the front's going to be rubbish because the amount of times people have just driven on it the grab was going down for a bit so we had to put it on things and this isn't gonna make history no chance but i'm gonna eat it ideally i'd like this to be all first cut to feed to the heifers to my cows i'd also like it to be second cut but it's gonna to have to be third cut <laughs> you can sod off get in the bin uh, my feed rep said is there any way of getting that first cut that's over there because obviously at the floor it's first cut it's a lot of faffing about so um, first cut's your best then second and third kind of goes in the name it's just not as high a quality and our third cut we normally make it a bit stalky we've tried to get better and better over the years this year i would like to make really good stuff it's a lot wet do we go for four cuts i don't think so i don't think we have four cuts this time, to be honest. so this is what me and Anna are going to do me and Anne is that a magnet Chance that? <laughs> Weird, isn't it? Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to do today. They're two good pipes. They can go in the good pipes. Happy, I'm happy with you, mate. You might be a complete and utter menace, but I'm happy. Hey. This is what I have to work with. Yay! Yeah. Yeah, Yummy! Change it for the world. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to Blackpool AGM? I've been invited to go with the Farmer's Guardian, yeah boys! Yeah boys! So I'm gonna go on an interview with um, Ollie and Charlotte Harrison, and I'm gonna be the only one that's gonna be leathered. Well, it's actually at one o'clock, so I should be all right. So, what? Yes, what? That is what you do. Yes, yes, what? That is what you do. But, oh my God, what are you, some kind of savage? What? Look how untidy that is. You can fit so many more in if you do it tidily. Yeah, we're just rapid, mate. We just, I'm not here to do a tidy job, I'm here to do a quick job. <laughs> Let's take its coat off and see what's underneath. Actually, that'd be better. Let's take its dress off and see what's underneath. There's a few holes in there, Thomas. I know. There's cows have, oh, we did have a moment when we were at Dairy Show and cows got out. That's why that feels such an absolute, what are you expecting not from this? Around in it. I don't really know, so I'm quite intrigued. <laughs> it's gonna be bad, isn't it? It's gonna be bad. They'll be right. She'll be fine. Right, get the drone up, make sick montage. Here we go. Power! That was impressive. Nat. This is boring. It. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Britain's yeah. fittest farmer. Why would you not just freaking roll it? You won't be told all I can do to keep you. Oh god, there's a lot of holes in this. Hold you close. Hold you close when we're sheeting up that clamp, got loads of tires just to move across and go from one. Yeah, boy. Yeah, 
Could be abysmal. I think abysmal might be the right word. Um, so I've done that. I could just feel it squishing underneath. I like, oh mate. I know when my stuff's going to be good. This could be bad. So everyone judges everyone at how clean and tidy their clamp is when they take the lid off. Looking okay in some, some spots, not okay in others. So, not great, but I knew it wasn't going to be great. And I wasn't just saying that, it's because I know the grab bit. Sorry, I have to move that out. So if plans to dig the side out, I think it will get good the minute you grab into it. That was always bad, because when the water flows, it's a bad corner. We've had to adapt to the things we've kind of gone with. In an ideal world, what we would have done, what? What about Come on, I thought you'd have it ready by now. Shut up. In an ideal world, what I would have done is put new, two new clamps somewhere else. That show would have gone in the field, the pile next to the field. I didn't know YouTube was going to go on for as long as it does. You kind of think six months. I've said this conversation before. Don't plan too far on a YouTube wage. And that's my opinion. I'm going to work as hard as I can to keep it going. But it's class that it does do. So we just do projects. As and when, yes, we've had to do a bit of piecemeal. But the farm has moved so much further than it would have ever done before. So without YouTube. So you've kind of got to go accept the odd occasion, something's not going to be perfect. And today, this isn't perfect. Well, my idea is to cut the sides off. The middle should be good, so I'll put the middle in for the cows. And the edges and the corners, I'll feed to the young stock again, like I did over there. And it, oh, honestly, it, it will be fine. Be fine! It'll be fine! It is good crack working with the girls. They are uh, very good. A good crack, good laugh, good funny way. She's going to scrape that too. Leave that there, turn around, just get a scrape here for me, and then I can start digging. When you get air in the front, A, things get in the front, and I think the moisture doesn't help a lot of it, but look at that there. That's the drain that we put all the way around, so that's all the water, the effluent, and the drain is just there, so it goes in the drain. So as you'll see, I'm just going to put the straights in that, 
and then I will nip in front of it. So put a grab in, I'm just gonna do a tidy up in session now. How good was it when I put all them pallets on? Everyone laughed at me. I used tires, it's just been run over enough too much to tight thing. Everyone laughed at me when I used the pallets, but it worked. And it worked on the maze clamp, not bad at all. Yeah, that was good. This is not. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna nibble, I'm just have a little nibble, nibble a little bit. Wrong. I know it's wasteful, I'll get that caught tomorrow, um, but I've got rid of it. I'm gonna probably feed that over the road tomorrow. It's getting better. The next one, I'm gonna go for a big grab, a big munch. Let's see what's in it. I'm gonna go there, some good stuff. And like I say, I'll take a lot over the road tomorrow. Remember that year when cows got out into the silo clamp and they ran up the whole silo clamp? I didn't video it, but we opened the clamp after they went into it. Holy moly, that was a bad year. That was a bad year, the front of it. It always does come good normally, touch wood. So hopefully the back of that will come good. What is really gonna be interesting about this as well is seeing what the yields do. So normally we can, well, we used to go off the milk tickets, didn't we? But now we go off what it says, daily uh, yields. It's about 26.4 at the moment cows giving, which isn't awful for our cows. We were up to, we got to 28.2 was the most I've ever, which is really good. And that was just the end of the maze. Everything started going well, and then the maze stopped, obviously. So it just showed that the maze was a good feed for us. It worked. We'll be interested to see what they do on this third corn. Right, get it in, and uh, we'll see how the grab gets on. It's looking a bit bad. I knew it was gonna, but it's like, this sounds ridiculous. It's like this is softer, sugary. It smells really sweet. It smells nice. Oh, thank the Lord. You worry, but you, just because, look at that. Look at that, that is poor. So, it should be good grass. So I'm gonna feed that over the road and they'll be able to pick through it. They're all fed on the floor. So whatever's rubbish, I can scrape through it. It's definitely drier because I've got 3.7 in that, and that's full. 3.625 actually, and I feel like that's full. I don't think I should be putting any more in that. So we're gonna leave it as it is. Fine. Uh, I'll put this away. We'll feed it out. Cows have a munch, and then obviously we'll catch up with you. It should get better. I'm, 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 it'll just be that. It will just be that. It's annoying, because I do YouTube, and it sounds daft. You want it to be as good as it can be, and you want to make I'm showing this to her, maybe 100,000 people who watch this video. It wants to be good, but it's looking better. And the top of that is looking okay. It's just the edges where people have let air in. That is the importance of A, sheeting up well the front, and B, not driving on it. Like I said, the, the grab was playing up, so we were putting the grab on the front of it all the time, and that just put some air, put some air, put some air. Anyway, right, pack this up, feed that out. Cows have a munch, but it does feel softer, which is cool. Good to be dad's not here to just give us a little bit of a ginger guy wisdom, or the ginger's top tips. Uh, Ginger Warrior's top tips, if you read my book. He'll be out sooner rather than later. He wants to get out, but we're kind of keep him in a little bit. Right, let's get this fed out. Let's see what the cows think. Katie and Anna are working together. Those two, those two love each other. It's mad. They absolutely love each other. Sorry if you're the boyfriends, but I think you're gonna lose them to each other. That is a joke, but half serious.
suddenly drier. I think first cut was a little bit wetter. Oh, I need to turn them beacons off. One beacon's turning, one beacon's not. I need to turn that off. It took a long time to get out. Let's get eight analyzed. And let's see what milk does tomorrow. I put three six out, but it looks like a lot when it's dry, it always looks like more. I do think wet silage isn't a problem. I think we used the tether last year and three cuts, we used it one and a half times. I got out of it after the second cut, I was like, don't need this. And the third cut, I remember we didn't even bother. Good idea to get rid of the front because it was rubbish. It's gone, um, so we're not going to give rubbish to the cows, we're not going to give rubbish to the young stock. We get away with some of that, and they'll tell us if we don't like it, you'll see a lot of cud balls, or you see a lot of stuff like rejection food. But they're all digging in now. I'll tell you what, that drone shot makes my cows look really, really good, which is cool. I love that we have different colours to them. I love the black and white, I love the red and white, so I love like the browns. I think it's absolutely a. I think we have a really, really good mix of animals on this farm. <laughs> And a class, like, look at that, look at 97. It's proper like brown Swiss colours vibes. It's great. I did have an offer for two jerseys for 950 quid each. It looks like it's going to get better. We'll probably see the end of it in about like a minute a clip of the end of how we're getting on and we're going to see how much milk the cows produce because that is the important thing. And that is why people chop four or five times for the quality in grass. And it can save you a lot in cake, not having to buy as much. Yeah, look at that one, it's not spinning, but then the other one is. How weird. Uh, beacons. I can tell how I'm hanging around with young farmers a lot. Katie was in the tractor for like two minutes, double beacons were on. Speak of the devil. What? Uh. <laughs> it's actually five days later and we have eaten it quite well. You can see I took the grabs there and there this morning and I've changed it completely while I was feeding it. I was going to feed it all to the milk cows and just sort it out, I didn't want to go over there. I'm actually going over there because we've got Anna in the afternoon. It's not like we're doing any field work, is it? So I'm going over there to get the first cut grass and bring it here. Milk dropped by using this grass in like three to four days by two liters of cow. Yeah, we we're up to about 26.5, went down to 24.5 yesterday. So we started feeding um, over the road stuff. Maybe it's more than five days actually um, since we opened it up. We started feeding, bringing over the road stuff, which is the first cut grass, and we're back up to 26.4, 25.5. It kind of fluctuates but you can kind of see we're going back up the curve it's worth if it goes up two liters of cow to me about 95 pounds a day to go over there and come back at 36p a litre milking 130 cows ish that's what i did the maths on and we're feeding this to the dry cows and feeding this to um, the stock over the road with a little bit of that over there because we want to really still want our young stock to have some good grass to obviously grow we did flirt with the idea after day one of putting water in it and then i spoke to dad about putting maybe some molasses in it he's mad keen on putting a molasses tank there putting a stanchion and putting a 10,000 litre molasses tank really really keen on it i am kind of like well why don't you get like a big one that does an arctic load and then you get an arctic load at a time it's 30 pounds a ton or 30 pounds a key a thousand kilos whichever way you work molasses out a cheaper if you just say can you take an arctic yes maybe it's going a bit too much my dad's keen just 10,000 litres of tank there and that's why he wants to keep this as well there is a bit of waste on top of this i will admit um i think it actually looks better from the camera than it does in person i think it looks worse in person speaking to the farm theory andrew a cracking a cracking tiktoker and he's actually doing youtube videos we we have a bit of a group chat with a couple of us as well and he's saying oxygen barrier and do we have a bit of a flirt with the change of uh, additive this year? I think this is the weather. You can obviously hear something in the background. Um, so this should be the last time this should ever touch rain. Do I like tires? Yes. Do I like the bag as well? Yes. I'm using both at the same time. I had leftover tires, so it makes sense to use them. Maybe an oxygen barrier, put it on all the clamps. Let's see what it does. Say, saying that first cut was quite good at the face. Second cut was great. The pallets did work. Uh, the maze was okay as well with the makeshift. It was just this I was a little bit disappointed with, with. But like I said, because we were putting the grab on it, I don't like putting the grab on the floor if the teeth touch the floor, because every time you pick it up, you just grind the teeth a little bit. Don't like it. But we were putting it on top of the clamp. I know it was bad, but it saved the teeth on the grab. So I'm keeping the grab probably worth more. I'm not going to move that. It just costs so much in concrete to move it. It doesn't really make sense at the moment. Maybe in a few years or maybe in a year or two, I go, okay, I've got somewhere to put it. Obviously we've stoned up there. We've done quite a lot actually. We're moving, progressing on that. I'm not doing a project in 2024. It's not going well. I currently have the showroom, this before first cut, which you'll see in a bit. And then I have this share farming agreement that I'm getting into as well, uh, which I'll tell you about very, very soon. Um, it's very exciting because it's progressing and a big thing's happening today with it as well. So yeah, loads going on. 
very dry silage. This didn't even get Ted. I think one of the main problems is our first cut grass was so good. So when they've come off it and it was the best first cut grass we've ever made, how amazing is that? I, I showed it to Andrew and he was very, very impressed. And that is big props to a guy like that. Getting better underneath. I did have confidence it was going to get better. It's just, that's fine. It's just the shoulders. Someone's going to say side sheet. I'm not doing it. It was rolled really, really well. I just think the water's got to it. It got through it, so yeah. Anywho, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Henry's back. Look at him loving life. And I'll show you more of that later as we get on. But yeah, it's third cut grass. We have silage and clamp. We're very fortunate compared to a lot of farmers out there. And I feel it for everyone lambing right now. Honestly, guys, you're doing amazing. Keep going. It will dry up. It looks like it might dry up this week or lash it down again last night. Me and dad had to drive around see if we put a foot on. It's not happening for a couple of days. Not till the weekend at least, especially for around here. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in a bit. Bye.